brothers and sisters, I'd like to run a little series of consecutive talks with the theme, the overarching theme of the spiritual combat about the, the life of self-denial so that we could inherit the blessings of God more deeply into our lives. And I'm going to use a little book actually that was written for the Deeper Christianity series. Um, and it was written by an Irish Dominican who lives in Rome, Father Vivian Boland. Um, I came across it a while ago and I thought this could be a good little guide for all of us, uh, to, to explore this theme of spiritual warfare, um, fighting the good fight. And so we'll, I'll use, I'll use this book. It's a little book and I'll add in my own sort of, um, uh, elaborations on, on what Father Boland says. But first of all, you know, there was a famous book called The Spiritual Combat by Lorenzo Scupoli, who was an Italian priest around the middle of the 16th century. And this book had a huge impact on spirituality in Europe at the time. Already 12 months after it being printed, St. Francis de Sales, who was a young student in Padua in Italy, re received a copy of this this book. And from it, he said that he gained his spiritual director, that this book, The Spiritual Combat, was it like his spiritual director. Joining the famous Imitation of Christ written by the German monk Thomas Akempis, this book was, a, you could say, part of the treasury of classical Catholic spirituality. It, 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 it informed John Henry Newman during the time of his conversion, it really helped him. It also formed the spiritual life of the, of the young John the 23rd when he was a seminarian in Bergamo in Italy. And it was formative for his whole spiritual life. In the last while, in the last, probably you could say in the last while, I, it may not be as popular because of maybe the language in the book about, you know, uh, of the, the themes of self denial, of, of, of doing violence even to oneself. And it, but what the writer would mean is that, you know, really subduing kind of disordered passions by, you know, by treating the body roughly by, by fasts and penances, etc. And so sometimes this language could put off our modern sensibilities because we live in such a comfort driven culture that, you know, this kind of language or this kind of part of Catholic spirituality is not so much popular. So the idea is to recast the deep truths of, of a book like this, The Spiritual Combat, and to look at, 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 at this theme of spiritual warfare in a way that, that is life-giving for us uh, and that, is at, that ex extrapolates the heart of the Christian call to, of Jesus to pick up our cross and to follow him. You know, basically there is no... There's no deep spiritual growth without asceticism, the practice of self-denial, the, the practice of trying to, to, you know, offer sacrifices to the Lord, uh, to curtail our passions, even for very wonderful good things, to offer good things up. There is no real growth in the spiritual life unless we enter into this fight and this battle and that there's a readiness and an eagerness to, to struggle with oneself. And, and it's really about how the mystery of how we come to prefer God's will to our own. And so, like I said, it, it's essentially the doctrine of Christ about picking up the cross and following him. You know, Father Boland says the, the warfare in which the Christian must engage is engage in is on many levels, not just the personal, moral and spiritual quest but also the social, intellectual and political contest. And he says this has most recently been termed the culture wars. It is worth noting that when we use correctly the Arabic word jihad, which has a similar range of meanings as Christians give to the spiritual warfare, we can see that jihad essentially means a struggle with God a struggle of surrendering to God's will and to allowing God to really reign in our hearts. Of course, this whole topic of spiritual warfare and, uh, you know, about restraining our passions and about controlling our desires can be left open for a lot of abuse or misunderstanding. So the idea in this talk of series is to try and really understand and recapture this because Pope John Paul II once said in, in his document, Vita Consecrata, he said, you know, 
The whole idea of spiritual combat is a demanding reality which is not always given due attention today. And yet the scriptures are full of descriptions of, for example, St. Paul, you know, he talks about life being a struggle, Christian life being a struggle of, of, of it being like a fight and a, a athletic contest or he uses, I believe is the Greek word, the agonia, you know, it's this, this, this race for completion. You know, St. Paul in 1 Corinthians talks about spiritual life, like a boxing match with oneself, you know, and then we see the themes throughout the scriptures of light and darkness, the struggle between life and death, truth and falsehood. And so, so brothers and sisters, the idea is, is really to, to really unpack this struggle, this, this battle and to understand it more deeply. And we'll be doing this over the next few talks, um, where we, please God, will have a greater sense of the duty we have to fight the good fight.